Hello guys, this is project tutorial 1, electricity generation from pressure. In this tutorial, we will learn how to generate electricity from pressure. Uh, what, kind of, uh, what kind of renewable energy we have used here to generate electricity from pressure. Okay, moving further. You are watching Chronics Technical Projects with Shashil Yadav. Okay, energy. Energy is divided into two forms. Renewable energy and non-renewable energies. So, first form is renewable energy. Under renewable energies, uh, what will be new? What, will be, uh, what, is, uh, what are the things which comes under renewable energy? Solar, wind, wave, geothermal, etc. And another form of uh, electric, elect, another form of energy is non-renewable energy. Okay. So, under non-renewable energy, the things which comes are fossil fuels, coals, nuclear, natural gas. Uh, Non-renewable energy which means which are limited. We can't use it again and again. And uh, under renewable energy sources, renewable energy sources uh, are which we can use again and again. Like solar energy, like wind energy, wave energy. This kind of energies which are present and we, which we can use for a very long time or which we can say that which we can use again and again which is which are from nature which are without any harmful effects okay going for the under non under, uh, under non renewable energy sources the things which comes are fossil fuels oil natural gases coal and nuclear and under renewable energy sources the things which are comes are biomass under biomass Wood and wood pastes, which we can use for uh, uh, burning and for another fuel applications. And after that, municipal solid waste, like uh, garbages, plastics and other uh, wastages. And after that, biogas. Biogas are the gases which are present under uh, our earth due to some kind of, uh, uh, we can say that due to garbage or due to the muddy muds. And due to another forms, it's a kind of gases which are used to for uh, uh, for cooking purposes for another uh, ignition purposes okay after that ethanol ethanol is an uh, fuel is a vital fuel which is made from sugar sugar starch and cellulose which are purely uh, we can say that uh, environmental friendly which doesn't produce a byproduct a harmful byproduct like carbon dioxide and uh, carbon monoxide which are produced from normal normal fuels normal petroleum fuels this biofuel bio biomass ethanol fuel doesn't produce any harmful byproduct okay the main things which comes under renewable energies renewable energy sources are geothermal energies like uh, hot gases coming out from the earth which we can use for uh, lots of applications hydropower hydropower we all know that dams hydropower the the water, the water uh, at the top uh, cont contains the potential energy, which when, when uh, flows flows from a very uh, from a very much height, it converts into kinetic energy and able to move the turbines to generate electricity. So that's a hydropower, and the most famous is a solar power. We all know that solar power. We are we were all familiar with this solar power energy, but it is also limited. It is only present in the daytime. We can't able to use it at night times due to the lack of sunlight. Sunlight isn't present in the night. That's right. Wind power. Wind power. So moving turbine by power of the wind to generate electricity. But it is also limited. Wind is not present in everywhere. Wind is not present in that much intensity at everywhere. Which we need uh, intense. We need a uh, very high a velocity wind so that you can able to move the turbine to generate electricity so we will come to our main point how we are going to uh, generate electricity from pressure what is the main or basic principal element of our project our principal element of our project is a piezoelectric plate piezoelectric plate is a material which generate electrical energy when we put pressure on it 
as you can see in this video when we are deforming this piezoelectric plate you can see in the voltmeter the meter is deflecting from positive half cycle to negative half cycle that means it is generating a ac voltage okay so now i will show you how the piezoelectric plate which we are going to use in this project look like this is our piezoelectric plate okay so and uh, we are going to do a little experiment we will let's see what will happen if you will connect this piezoelectric plate we will connect if we will we will connect this piezoelectric plate to with to this multimeter okay now let's map by finger this piezoelectric plate before that we have to use a led let's test let's see what will happen if we we'll connect a led with our piezoelectric plate okay now let's step it so now we are uh, now what are the effect we are going to tap it now you can see that by tapping this piezoelectric plate it is converting the pressure the force the power of pressure of this uh, uh, tapping this force into electrical energy which is able to grow this led and we are uh, we are uh, we can see in our multimeter display it is displaying positive and negative 12 volt that means it is it is right now it is generating a ac waveform a ac current okay but how to eliminate this ac current if we want if we want a dc current then how how we can uh, uh, how we can receive ac uh, dc dc current so let's to do a second experiment on it take a piezoelectric plate okay take a multimeter and the thing which convert the ac waveform into dc is a full wave bridge rectifier or we can say that a bridge rectifier rectifier so let's connect our piezoelectric plate with this bridge rectifier ac terminals that wave like uh, uh, <coughs> sign which is uh, shown above this rectifier it just it just for a ac waveform okay we are connected this ac waveform signal ac waveform points to our piezoelectric plates the red is the red on the top and the black is on the brass plate okay after that we are connecting the positive terminal of a rectifier to our positive terminal of our multimeter and negative terminal of our multimeter to the negative terminal of our rectifier okay let's see what will happen if you will tap again when we tap again you can see that in the display only positive 12 volt is displaying 0 12 volt 0 12 volt that means ac is rectified and now we are only getting dc current so what is what are the components in our piezoelectric plates our piezoelectric plate is made up of a brass plate electrode just because our piezoelectric plate need two electrodes to transfer electrical energy so first one is a brass electrode and second one is a silver plate coating a very thin a very very thin silver plate coating is done on piezoelectric material uh, just in case if you are curious what is the dimension of this piezoelectric plate all the dimensions are in mm okay so you can see that the dimension of this piezoelectric plate okay now moving further piezoelectric plate has three uh, three parts first is a metal plate for uh, one terminal second electrode is a silver 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 coating for second electrode <coughs> and our piezoelectric ceramic sandwich between these two okay come to our project point how we can make a project uh, by the use of this piezoelectric plate so that we can generate electricity okay so okay so now we are going to make our project electricity generation from pressure we have taken a wooden wooden box we have taken a wooden base and we are going to place piezoelectric plate on this wooden base like this like now you are seeing in this picture and after that we will connect the silver electrode with each other like like this combination the black wires are for connecting silver electrode points okay and uh, the brass plates we are going to connect the brass plate to this 
like uh, with each other parallelly like this combination and we will uh, took out two points uh, if you want to uh, you want to know how we are going to connect it how we have connected it in the form of a separate piezoelectric plates i can also show that just take four piezoelectric plates uh, just uh, for demonstration and connect the red wires with the red ones black wire with the black ones in a parallel combination and take out two points okay so like this combination we have to connect in our over our wooden base so moving further moving further we have seen this combination okay uh, we have taken a wooden box we have placed piece of plates upon it but now what we are going to do we are connecting a bridge active pair separately with each piezoelectric plates. We will take four piezoelectric plates and we will take four bridge active pairs. And now we are going to connect separately with each piezoelectric plate with each bridge active pairs. Okay, so now we are connecting it. And what we are doing here after connecting it all, first we will connect it all. Okay. So we have connected it. Now what we have done, we have connected all all these four bijective pairs in parallel. As you can see that green wires and uh, these blue wires are uh, you can see that connected in parallel combination. So we have to connect all these four bijective pairs in parallel combination. Okay. Okay. Moving further. So now uh, we have taken a wooden base. We have put it for piezoelectric. Uh, we have put it uh, placed a number of piezoelectric plate upon that. So in this case, we are. I am just going to show you just for a demonstration purpose. For example, we have placed four piezoelectric plates. We have taken four uh, bridge rectifiers. We have connected separately with each others. Okay, and we have connected all these bridge rectifiers in parallel. Okay, and now. We are going to close this. We are now going to enclose our system by another wooden base upon it, and we are going to screw it. We we have to screw it. Okay. So after that, so it is uh, it is a combination or a combination of these rectifiers. Okay, and this these wires are just for a demonstration purpose. Uh, is going to connect it with our piezoelectric base okay so we have taken a piezoelectric base we have uh, placed piezoelectric pl uh, plates upon it and we have connected each piezoelectric plate with each bridge rectifiers and we have enclosed our uh, piezo uh, base with another wooden base and after that what we are going to need in our project is a multimeter a switch and 12 volt battery and inverter circuit a diode and a fluorescent tube so uh, we have taken a diode just uh, uh, because just because uh, uh, to flow to move the flow of electricity the electricity will only flow from piezoelectric plate to the battery it will not uh, the power the voltage from the battery will not uh, again come from the battery to a piezoelectric plate so we are taken this uh, we have kind of connected a uh, diode in a forward bias forward bias so that the voltage from this uh, battery will not come to our piezoelectric plate okay moving further uh, how we are go, how we have to connect uh, connect all these things so just connect with the two points which we have taken out from the parallel combination of piezoelectric pair to our multimeters okay positive terminal to the positive and negative terminal to the negative after that connect black negative terminal of our system negative terminal of bridge rectifier to the negative terminal of battery positive terminal to the positive terminal of diode and uh, another point of diode to the positive terminal of battery going further the black the black uh, wire 
or the black uh, black point the black wire or the negative point of our bridge rectifier is going to connected with negative point of our inverter circuit now we are placing a switch between we are placing a switch between our battery and our inverter and we have connected a, a fluorescent tube and tube light or you can say that a small tube light in our system we are go, we are now connected our switch to our battery and now just see what will happen if you will tap by foot the our base what is going to happen if a someone crosses this base or go press this base by foot so let's see if someone tap our base by foot or you can also say that if uh, people are crossing from above above the plates and what will happen so as you can see that it will generate electricity you can see that in the multimeter 12 volt is uh, you can see the displaying positive 12 volt 0 and 12 volt and uh, after a few hours after a few hours like 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours uh, when the battery will charge uh, charge up to a point up to 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent so how we are going to convert this dc into a ac by using this inverter so we have used a small tube light here and a switch here so if you would press this switch then we can convert the stored energy of our piezoelectric plate into ac energy so now you can see that see the small tube light it is blinking so that means after storing a sufficient amount of energy we can convert our dc into ac and we can use any load for uh, any load of ac any load of ac after this theoretical uh, explanation now we are going further to to see how we can convert this theoretical concept into a practical one so now we will see what are the components we have used in the practical to make our project work so first so first thing which we have used is a piezo plate base uh, under that we have already attached piezo plates and combined them uh, separately with uh, bridge rectifiers okay and uh, the other component is the bridge rectifiers which we have connected parallelly and a multimeter a battery a rechargeable battery a inverter circuit and an fluorescent fluorescent tube or which you can also generally called a small tube light thank you and keep watching and subscribe for new innovative projects have a good day